Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me marathon. So you're gonna get cleaning motivation for your entire house, whether it is outside or inside, bathrooms, bedrooms, kitchen, everything. Now it has been a while since I've done a cleaning marathon on my channel and I've gotten lots of requests for one so I figured I'd go ahead and put out a marathon video while I'm trying to still film and edit the other videos that are coming up in the next few weeks. Those are going to be some really really good ones. I have lots of fun cleaning and organizing ideas for you so I hope you guys get so much motivation from seeing some of my favorite videos from the past few months and I hope you have a wonderful day and get lots of cleaning done. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Darley if you're new here and I'm gonna be doing an extreme clean with me today. I had a ton of cleaning to do so I'm just gonna take you guys along with me as I get this stuff checked off of my to-do list. Now you're gonna see throughout the video that this video was actually filmed over several days and I'm just starting upstairs this week in the kids' bedrooms and I'm gonna go ahead and wash their bedding first and dust down their rooms and clean their windows and all of that. We Now really quickly, I wanted to just say a huge thank you to everyone that is subscribed to my channel and coming back and hanging out with me for another video. If you are not already subscribed and you're new here, then welcome. My name is Amy Darley and I am a stay-at-home mom of two kids, Kaysen, who will be nine next month, and then Gracie June, who will be seven in July. And I do lots of different videos on my channel from home decor, organizing, cleaning, all of that kind of stuff. And I forgot to mention, I have an amazing husband named Chance as well, and a dog named Cooper. And we live in the Savannah, Georgia area, and we're just so glad that you're here to hang out with us today. And I hope that you'll subscribe while you're here if you like these types of videos. And then we also have a family channel that we started. It's called Team Darley, and I'll just have a link to that channel down in the description box in case you wanna hang out with us even more. We do lots of different day in the life, um, favorites, all kinds of lifestyle related content over there too. So I'd love to have you in both places and hopefully get to know you guys better too. So let me know if you are new, say hey in the comments where you're from and maybe something about yourself. So at this point, I've mostly cleaned Gracie June's bedroom, but I do end up going back in there and cleaning the windows as well. And I just threw Kaysen's bedding into the washing machine, and then you won't see me end up putting those back on the bed because it was nighttime by the time that I had them out of the dryer and on his bed, and I forgot to film that part. But I am giving his room a wipe down and just kind of dusting in here, and then I'm gonna clean his windows. Now Chance and I have made a little list of, I say a little list, but I feel like it's getting longer and longer, a list of all the places in our house that we need to clean and organize. And it's so funny because I feel like we are constantly going back to the same places. There are a few places that we have never touched, but things like the kitchen drawers or the bathroom, which we just did the bathroom, um, but I have a lot of areas in the kitchen that I want to reorganize and then we want to do our garage So I know that a lot of you have said you've been waiting on the garage cleaning and organizing video and I promise that's gonna come but we ended up having to go out there and Kind of look at the space figure out what we needed to make it work better because we haven't bought any kind of organization stuff for our garage in a really really long time so i did find a few pieces that i want to get off of home depot i'm waiting on those things to come in so we can work on that video we want to clean and organize our playroom get rid of a bunch of stuff in there 
and we're also redoing our back porch at this moment and then also I still have not done the closet in our guest bedroom slash office I said that a long time ago that I was going to make it like a linen closet so I want to do that room as well so we have just a ton of projects on the list and so I'm going to try to start tackling some of those these next few months so be on the lookout for all of those videos I want to make sure to give you guys content that you can actually take and use and maybe motivate you to get some spaces cleaned out and organized in your own home but also give you some products or some um, affordable ways to organize so hopefully that's going to be helpful and y'all let me know if there's anything specific that you're wanting to see organized because I have thought about doing some other spaces in other friends homes I did a Dollar Tree pantry organization video in one of my friends homes not too long ago and everybody seemed to really like that so y'all let me know if there's a space that you want to see and if I can't organize it in my own home because it wouldn't be a good video or it's a space that's already organized then I can definitely try to do it in a friend's house Now the last thing that I'm gonna do upstairs for today is vacuum the kids' rooms in the hallway. I did not touch the playroom because it was a complete disaster and you're gonna see that at the end of the video, but that is definitely gonna be something that we're gonna be working on decluttering and organizing soon. So I figured I would just make that a whole video on its own because it's such a big project. So now it is the next day and I'm just going through Gracie June's bookshelf and I'm gonna actually declutter and organize these because we had way too many books. I was actually a teacher for nine and a half years so we have a bazillion books and a lot of these books that I'm gonna end up getting rid of are actually too low for Gracie June. They might be some from when she was a toddler or beginning phonics, things like that. So I wanted to just make sure we organized everything and got rid of the things that we were no longer using. the bookshelves um, and I'll just kind of share how I organized them so I started with a lot of like the sets so we have a bunch of Dr. Seuss books then we have a ton of Pete the Cat books 
Um, and then we have, let's still peep the cat. And then there were, there was a set of these um, Disney Frozen books that we got. And then it goes into, we have a few Pout Pout Fish books, which are super cute. And then Peppa Pig and Froggy books. And then down here, I have a ton of different like activity books. So she has coloring books, these books that have puzzles in them, I spy books. And then the rest of these are like seasonal books. So we have some Christmas, we have some Halloween, Easter, Valentine's Day, all that stuff is down there. And then these two bottom shelves are all books that we like to read together that maybe Gracie June can't necessarily read on her own yet. And so we read those together. And then up here, we have all of our phonics books. So these are all books that Gracie June should be able to read by herself or have like phonics rules or something that we can practice together. And then we have a bunch of like children's Bibles and things like that. Now this middle shelf is empty, but I still have to go through Kaysen's. I don't think I'm gonna do that today, but I need to go through all of Kaysen's books and probably pass some over to her. And then I'm also gonna add some of his books that I definitely know she won't be interested in to the stuff that I'm gonna list on Macari. All right, so now we're moving into the next day of cleaning and we are gonna tackle the downstairs. And as you can see, we have been home a lot, like everybody else. And so I just feel like my house is constantly going from mess to spotless to mess in about five minutes apart. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that too, but our house can get so messy so fast with all of us home all the time. So we are just gonna tackle this downstairs. We're gonna tidy up, we're gonna clean and do all the things. And I have my Diet Dr. Pepper to help me get a little bit of motivation, a little bit of energy to get through all of this. Now everyone is always asking what this little tool is that I'm using on my bed and it's just called a Hurricane Fur Wizard and it's just basically that. It gets all the lint, the hair, everything off of your um, upholstery or fabric or whatever. So this is just the easiest way for me to get all the dog hair off of our bed and we have been using it for several years now. Now I had a little bit of laundry that needed to be put up. It was actually already folded. Chance folded it the night before, um, which by the way, if you did not see our nighttime routine, I posted that video last week and I teamed up with my friend Micah Stauffer and we are actually doing a $500 cash giveaway for that video. So if you wanna go enter that cash giveaway, then you can go to my nighttime routine and just follow the directions. The directions are there in the description box of that video too, but we are super excited to be able to help a family out during this time. I know it's hard for a lot of people, so we wanted to do a bigger giveaway and just say thank you to our subscribers and for all of your support. So now I'm gonna do a quick vacuum in here and you saw me use this vacuum earlier, but it is the Shark Uplight vacuum and it is amazing. I got it several months ago and I have just been in love with it. I really don't think we've ever had a vacuum that was this great. I had a 
big, huge, bulky Dyson a long time ago that was really, really good, but it was a pain to carry up and down the stairs. And then after that, I got the Dyson V7, which is a cordless vacuum, and it just doesn't have nearly as much power. And when the battery started messing up on that, I started looking into a new vacuum and found this one, read all the reviews about it, watched lots of videos on it, and decided this is the one that I wanted because it actually has some sort of technology in it to where it doesn't have the hair can't get all tangled up in the bottom, which is so stinging cool. And as you can see, all I vacuumed was this room and that's how full my canister got. But I just love that vacuum and I'm seriously so, so happy with it. All right, and now I'm tackling this mess in here. And as you can see, I took the basket and put a bunch of the toys in the basket. And later on in the video, I'm gonna end up taking that upstairs to the playroom so that the kids can put all of their toys up it's mostly Gracie June's and then a few things in there were Kaysen's like his baseball hats and things like that. But now I'm just tidying up the kitchen first and then I'm going to wipe down the stove and the countertops. All right, so all of my spring decor has been up for so long and I'm finally just realizing I need to probably put that stuff up. So I decided to go ahead and take the little bunny off of our breakfast table and I'm gonna put him with our spring decor and I just put some little flowers here for right now. Um, are you guys decorating for summer? I would love to know. I was thinking about doing a summer clean and decorate with me style video and I did one last year and everybody seemed to really like seeing that type of video even though I feel like for summer I basically just go to neutral decor that you can use year-round so y'all let me know if that's a video that you guys would be interested in seeing All right, so now that I have put all the dishes in the dishwasher, I'm gonna hand wash the ones that need to be hand washed. And I wanted to point out that I got a new drying mat because our old ones, um, we still use them. We still have them in the drawer in case we're washing this one, but Chance wanted something that was a lot bigger, which I agree because when we're washing pots and pans, it usually, we have to completely dry them off and put them up right away because there's not enough space on the drying mat. But we got this one off of Amazon and it's a little bit bigger and we absolutely love it and it just makes it easier for us to let things just dry there on the countertop and then we can put them up after they have fully air dried but i'll leave a link to that one down in the description box in case you're interested in a bigger cloth type drying rack All right, now I'm gonna wipe down our stove top first because it had a lot of stuff on there from where we cooked for breakfast. And I just use the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner, spray it down, and then I take a small wet sponge and just scrub the stuff off. I found that if I use a wet sponge, it seems to come off a lot easier. And then I'm just taking a microfiber cloth and drying all of that up, and it works really, really good. After I clean my stove, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same Jaws Kitchen Counter Cleaner and clean off all of my counters. And that's what I love about the Jaws stuff is I can use this Jaws Kitchen Cleaner on literally everything in my kitchen. We could never run out of time Sipping strawberry lime You know I want to share it with you Place is going boom, boom If you're looking for some grace I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line For the water slide
Okay, now to clean my sink out, I'm going to use Barkeeper's Friend. A lot of you recommended this to me a few weeks in one of my videos because a lot of you always ask me, how do you keep your sink so clean? And usually I just use the baking soda cream cleanser, but I did notice that in the corners of my sink, I have to scrub really, really hard. I have to use a ton of the cleanser to get it off. And so you guys all told me that a lot of you use the Barkeeper's Friend. So I wanted to try it. I ordered some off of Amazon since I just didn't feel like looking for any in the store. And so I ordered off of Amazon. It came really quickly. And then I have to say I was super impressed. I feel like this stuff works so good. I don't have to do a ton of scrubbing. And a lot of you said that you can also use it on your pots and pans, which I will have to try that soon too. What a slide. And now we're moving on to the living room. I have another load of laundry because laundry is never ending. And so I'm gonna take those into the um, bedroom and Chance and I will get to fold those later tonight. And here is a little appearance of Gracie June. She is just watching TV because how can you do anything around the house without them having a screen? Just kidding, just kidding. Our kids are not always on the screen, but yes, sometimes I give in and they watch TV or play on the iPad so I can get some things done. So. I'm folding up all these blankets to take upstairs. We have these bean bags in the playroom and we stuff most of the blankets in there and it somehow seems that they have brought every blanket in the house downstairs. <laughs> so I'm gonna take those upstairs and put them back where they belong and fix the pillows on my couch just so Gracie June can mess them up again. <laughs> And now I'm gonna do a quick vacuum of the downstairs before I mop. So to mop my wood floors, I'm just using the O Cedar Spin Mop and Pine Saw. I just put a little bit of Pine Saw and the rest is hot water. And I love this mop. I have been obsessed with it since I got it. It makes mopping my floors so, so easy. And I don't know, I'm just obsessed with Pine Saw. I just feel like it cleans really, really well and it smells good at the same time. So I still use that.
Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Darley and today's video is going to be a clean with me and we're going to be focusing on the outside of the house. We have the front porch and the back porch that we're going to be cleaning today. I'm so excited to show you these areas because I have not shown you our back porch in a really long time and we are getting ready to do a makeover which I will talk about later on in the video but I also have some really exciting news at the end of this video so be sure to stick around until the end so you can hear what we're so excited about. Now here on the front porch, I'm not gonna actually do a cleaning, but I am gonna be cutting down some of these flowers because they have definitely grown since we put them out here. And then I also have some hanging florals that look like they are beginning to die. Um, these ones, they don't look too, too bad, but the white ones that we have definitely look like they are just getting way too much sun. So I'm gonna be taking those down and I'm gonna water those and try to bring them back to life. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut some of these florals down that are right here on the front porch. And these are so, so pretty, but they have definitely grown a ton since we put them out here. So I'm just gonna trim them down and make them look a lot better. Now, because I did have to trim them down, I had to pull the florals off too. And that stinks, but it's okay because they'll end up growing back and it'll be fine. Now, if you are just coming by my channel for the first time, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Amy Darley, and we live in the Savannah, Georgia area, I'm just right outside of Savannah. And I do lots of cleaning motivation, organization, home decor, all kinds of things on my channel here. And I would love, love, love to have you as a subscriber. I have lots of really fun videos planned and a lot of makeovers and organization videos coming. So if you like that type of stuff, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also click the little bell that's right next to it because that will make sure to notify you anytime that I post new videos. That way you don't miss them. So I hope that you guys are excited. If you are new, then make sure to say hey in the comments and let me know where you're from. If you are one of my returning subscribers, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here as well. As always, I want you guys to let me know what you're doing while you're watching. So I decided to keep these pink little florals for my daughter, Gracie June. She absolutely loves to pick flowers, so I saved those for her. And then I'm gonna throw the rest of this stuff out into the woods right here on the side of our house. And for some reason, I decided to pick the windiest day to do this, but it definitely felt nice outside when I was cleaning. Now these are the white florals that I was saying, they look like they have been getting way too much sun and even though they are supposed to be mostly sun, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and give them lots of water. I took them down and I'm gonna let them sit to the side for a few days and keep watering them to see if I can get them to come back to life. Also, I wanted to say really quick, I absolutely love this watering hose. It has been such a game changer when it comes to watering all the florals on my porch, especially the hanging ones. So I highly recommend this one. I'll link one just like it down in the description box. And then I'll also link any of my porch decor that you guys see here in case you're interested in checking some of that stuff out. If you Okay, so now we're moving to the back porch and this is where I'm actually gonna do a lot of cleaning because it was so dusty back here. We just had our house pressure washed a few weeks ago and the back porch is just full of pollen. So I'm gonna go in here and do a really good cleaning, but I also wanted to let y'all know that we are getting ready to do a complete makeover back here on the back porch, especially this little area here that has our fridge. We're gonna be putting in some shelves and then we got a new little wine slash 
Coke can, whatever fridge off of Wayfair that's gonna be going in this area. We're gonna do some shiplap back there and put some floating shelves. We also are getting some new back porch furniture. And then I also just got this chair right here. This is the egg chair. It's actually from Walmart. It is the Target dupe. And the one from Target is $499 or $450 somewhere around there. This one was only $299. So I'm going to link this chair for you guys down in the description box. And you have to find it when it's in stock because it goes out of stock so fast. So if you're interested in this chair, definitely check the description box. And I'll have it linked here. It looks exactly like the one from Target, but it is so much cheaper. And it's very, very good quality and has the best reviews. So the first thing I'm doing out here is I'm going to go ahead and sweep really quick and probably should have just gone ahead and blown this out with our blower, which I do at the end again. So I don't know why I decided to sweep. If you want to save yourself some time, then definitely just go ahead and blow it out. <laughs> My gosh, the door's open over there. Please don't. Just put it outside. What if it's poisonous? Oh my gosh. That thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Do not bring it back in here. <laughs> okay, so I had to leave that in. And if you've seen me clean my back porch before, I feel like there's always something back here. Last time it was a frog. This time it was a ginormous lizard. And I know it maybe not, maybe didn't look as big on camera, but I'm telling y'all, I have not seen a lizard that big before. And the reason I said it was maybe poisonous was because when I first saw it, it looked like it was like a reddish color, which was crazy. So anyways, I thought that would give you guys a laugh for today. And yes, I do not like anything that crawls or jumps or flies or basically anything but dogs. <laughs> All right, so now I'm filling up my mop bucket with some pine salt and water, and I just put a little bit of pine salt in here, and then I'm gonna use the end dust that I have to, first I'm cleaning down the trash can and the little mini fridge, and then this table, which all of this stuff is gonna be going out of here whenever we're doing our makeover, but we're waiting on a guy to come, and it's gonna be a few more weeks before we can get the shiplap and all that kind of stuff put up, so. Um, and then the shelves put in. So for right now, I'm just cleaning everything down. We're gonna leave it out here for right now. Um, and then after I clean down that trash can with the end dust, it still had some stuff on the outside. So I decided to wipe it down with the pine saw and then dry it off. But now I'm just gonna wipe down the fridge and the table with the end dust. Now I'm just so excited about this project out here because we absolutely love sitting on our back porch watching TV and just hanging out, especially in the mornings and in the afternoons. But because of the whole like social distancing and all of that kind of stuff, it's definitely slowed down our little project. But as we are going through this project, I'm gonna be sharing with you every step of the way. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe so you can see how it all turns out. We actually have already ordered every single bit of stuff that's gonna be going out here. So I can't wait to see how it all turns out and to share it with you guys along the way. Now I'm just going to wipe down the screens really quick on the inside and I probably should have done the outside too, but I just, I don't know, by the end of all of this, I was exhausted and I told Chance he could do the outside later because <laughs> um, usually he really takes care of the outside of the house. But anyways, all I'm doing is I took my Swiffer and put a microfiber cloth at the bottom and just attached it to the bottom 
and then dipped it into my mop bucket. So I've got the pine saw and water mixture on the end of my microfiber cloth and this actually worked really, really well and didn't take me long at all to do. Now I'm going to move on to the windows and the door frame and I'm just wiping this down with my Jaws um, glass cleaner and I love this stuff and then I'm going to go around it with a microfiber cloth and just kind of clean, I dip that part into the mop bucket as well. So you could also use, since my door and the frame and everything is white, I could also use a magic eraser if I wanted to but honestly these were not too dirty at all. I was surprised that they weren't a lot dirtier. Now the furniture that we have out here on the back porch, we've actually had for probably seven or eight years now. We got it from, I think, Lowe's. And I'm just so surprised at how well this stuff has held up, especially the cushions. Everything is still in really good condition, but we'll probably end up moving this to the outside porch so we can sit out there on this and just have more seating when we have people over and that'll be nice. But I'm just wiping this down with that same microfiber cloth and I also dipped it into that mop bucket and I'm wiping down the cushions and everything with this. Now you could also take this out and use your pressure washer and clean it off that way. But I decided that we just wanted to do a really quick wipe down here. And then, of course, soon we'll have the other furniture. So we'll just probably, we can take that outside, this outside, and maybe pressure wash it at that point. Now the last thing that I'm going to clean off is this Yeti cooler and it honestly has only been out here for a few days and Chance is going to put it back in the garage anyways because it does not stay out here. And then by this time I was all hot and sweaty so I just had Chance do a quick blow of the porch with the blower and like I said earlier I should have done the blower in the beginning because it's so much easier than sweeping on this concrete floor. Now our porch is all clean. We can sit out here in the evenings and not have to be worrying about being covered in pollen and sneezing every two seconds. So it's so nice to have this done, checked off of our list, and I hope it gave you some motivation to get some things checked off of your own cleaning to-do list at your house. Now, if you guys wanna see how our porch makeover project turns out, then be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave and also the bell so that way you're notified anytime we post new videos so you don't miss this project because it is gonna be so amazing. We've had this on our to-do list since we moved in our house a few years ago, so we are definitely excited to get it done. Hey 
y'all and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of cleaning I had a lot of things on my to-do list today and usually my videos end up being like several days of cleaning but since I had so much to do this day and actually had a good bit of time to do it I decided I would take you guys along with me for an entire day of cleaning and just show you what I get done and hopefully it gives you tons of cleaning motivation so today I'm starting with making my bed just to get that off of my checklist. It was a really quick thing that I needed to do and I'm just going to tidy up in here. I'm not actually cleaning in here because I have some other spaces that definitely need more attention today. Now as you can see, my office is a huge wreck and I'm gonna come back in here and actually clean this a little bit later. But for right now, I'm just opening up this new vacuum that I got from Musu and I'm gonna share this with you in a little bit, but I wanted to go ahead and pull it out of the box, put it on the charger so that way it could get a full charge before I started using it. And most of you know that my Dyson V7 quit working a few months ago. So when Musu reached out to me and asked if I would want to try their their cordless vacuum. I actually asked a few friends who had them and I also re researched on YouTube and a lot of people were actually comparing this model to the Dyson V7. So I of course wanted to try it out. I love having a cordless vacuum for like quick cleanups and stuff like that. So I will tell you my full review on this vacuum in just a few minutes. All right, so now that I have all of the vacuum put together, I'm gonna go stick it on the charger really quick and let it completely charge before I start using it. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself. Now, while this is charging, I'm going to head into the kitchen, but I promise I'll be back to clean this mess a little bit later. I actually had my friend Stephanie coming over on this day and she was gonna help me decorate my bookshelves. She is an interior designer here in Savannah and we love doing projects together. She just started a YouTube channel not too long ago, so she's gonna help me decorate my bookshelves and I wanted to hurry up and get the rest of the house clean before she got here. Now, really quick, I wanted to talk about something that I get asked about a ton. I always get asked whether my kids do chores or not, and also if my husband helps out around the house, and the answer to both of those questions is yes. I actually just shared in a video last week over on my Team Darley channel all about the chore chart that we're using that I just created a few weeks ago. Now, they've been making their beds every single morning and then they'll do chores every now and then like me asking them, but we just started this new chore chart where they're actually getting their allowance each week. And I say allowance, but it's more like they're getting paid what they've earned each week. And so I fully explain our chore chart and everything in that video. So I'll leave a link for that video in case you wanna see what chore chart we're using. I also made a free printable in case you wanna print it out and put your kids chores on there as well and it just re works really, really good. I also have fines on there, so they get fined for certain things, and then they also get bonus checks. So if you wanna see how we do chores, go check that video out. Um, also, a lot of times you're gonna see me doing some of the things that they might normally do in my videos, but my cleaning videos are for, for me to make and not for them, but sometimes I do include them, it's just, most of the time it's easier for me to do a cleaning video without them and yes my husband also helps out majority of the stuff that he does is outside of the house and then he also helps a lot with like cooking dinner and cleaning up after dinner but like I said when I'm doing a cleaning video it's mainly for you guys to see cleaning motivation from me because this is my channel and not my kids and not my husband <laughs> Now I'm just gonna use an e-cloth and some hot water and I'm gonna wipe down our breakfast table and our kitchen counters since I was trying to do a little bit of speed cleaning on this day.
So now that my vacuum is fully charged, I'm gonna go ahead and use it here. And the vacuum that I ended up getting was the Musu 17 KPA Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. This vacuum is super lightweight, so it makes it really easy to pull out when you wanna clean up a quick mess and you don't wanna get out your big vacuum with your cord and all of that. So I love that. I love the fact that my kids can actually use this without it being too heavy for them. And I don't have to worry about my kids messing with the cord while using this one either. All right, so now I'm giving you a really quick look at our built-ins because I'm about to take all of this stuff down. I'm gonna clean off all of our bookshelves and then my friend Stephanie is going to come over in a little while and actually help me decorate these. And I'm not gonna share that in this video because I felt like that would be a great video for her to share on her channel. So she's going to be sharing how she decorates my bookshelves. She's actually gonna share like the shop with me and then how she decorates and all of that. So if you wanna see how these turn out, then definitely go check out her channel. I'll have a link to her channel down in the description box. All right, so now I've pulled off all of my decor and this is all the stuff that was up there. And Stephanie actually went shopping at Home Goods, Target, Hobby Lobby, and TJ Maxx and came, up, came back with a bunch of stuff. So we ended up using some of my things to decorate the bookshelves and then we also used some of the things that she found. So she'll be sharing that in her videos as well. And I'm sorry to keep you guys hanging, but I really felt like this would be such a fun video for her to do on her channel and she's such a good friend and I know you guys are going to love her so I just thought it would be fun for us to do this together. Cause I, 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 I
Now here I'm just finishing up with wiping down the cabinets as well and then I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards. But I wanted to take a second to ask you guys down in the comments, I want you to let me know, would you rather see the garage organization first because our garage is a huge mess and we are ready to clean out and declutter and organize in there. And I think that we have pretty much everything we need to do that. Or would you rather see the kitchen organization video first because I bought a bunch of stuff off of Amazon that I want to organize my kitchen, reorganize because some things just aren't working. And so I wanna reorganize that space as well. So y'all vote below, let me know, do you wanna see the kitchen organization first or the garage organization first? Now here I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum in my room since the vacuum was charged and then I'm gonna go into the office and finally clean up that big mess in there. So this is real life and I feel like I thought when we decorated this room that we would keep this room so much cleaner and so much more organized, but this ends up being where I end up throwing all of our boxes that we open and the kids come in here and sometimes they'll hang out in here while I'm doing something in the living room and maybe they're on the computer or listening to music and then sometimes Gracie June even gets on the computer and will make little videos of herself playing with her toys. So this room becomes a disaster quite often and I don't feel like I show it a lot in my videos and maybe it's because I'm just putting off cleaning this room all the time or maybe it's because I always have packages in here that need to still be opened. But either way, I'm finally showing it with sharing it with you and you get to get a little bit of cleaning motivation for your office today. So there in those packages are some of the things that I was saying I bought from Amazon for the kitchen and I'm just so eager to get in there and get everything organized and I hope that all of these things work out because I definitely haven't tried them yet. But I know that that's a big project and I just can't wait to have my kitchen organized the way that I am visualizing in my head. We break down, caving in to our doubts, faces filled with sadness. When words are said, we'll Now here on the desk area, I have a bunch of stuff that I printed off for the kids to do. So I'm gonna organize all of that stuff and put it away. And then you can see Gracie June's been sitting at the desk coloring. And so I'm gonna put all of that with her arts and craft stuff. And then I also have my YouTube play button that still has been in my package and Chance is gonna actually put it on the wall today.
Okay, as I was cleaning, I got a little distracted and I saw that our chair had a few marks on it. I think it's just black marker. So I also noticed a few fuzzies and pulled out the little fabric shaver that I shared in my video last week. And I love this thing. So I'm just gonna shave the fabric a little bit, make sure to get all those fuzzies off. And then I'm actually gonna try to get those stains out or the marker out. I don't know that I would call it stains, but I'm gonna try to get the marker out. So for the marker, I'm using this Rocco and Roxy Stain and Odor Eliminator, and this is what I used on my carpets at the front door, and I felt like it did a really good job at doing some spot cleaning, so I wanted to try it here on this chair. And you're gonna see, I scrub and scrub this thing, and I do feel like it ended up getting the mark out, but that specific area right here that I'm doing, I felt like it looked a lot lighter, more of like a whiter color than the rest of the fabric when I was done. And I don't know if I just need to go back and like re-wet it with water or something. Y'all let me know if you have any tips or if this has happened with your spot remover or anything. I felt like the one on the bottom was fine, but maybe I didn't spray it as much. So maybe this is a fail. But I do feel like this worked really, really well on my carpets in my bedroom and the rug at the front door. So since I'm filming this video, I decided to go ahead and finally change this calendar from March to June. That's how long it's been since I changed the calendar up here, but I figured since I was doing a video, I would actually put this calendar to use and fill it out the right way so that you guys didn't go crazy in the comments saying it's not March. But also because I should be using this every month, but in June, Kaysen's birthday is on the 15th, and then Chance and I will be celebrating our 12 year anniversary and Father's Day on June 21st. So June is gonna be a busy and exciting month. Now the last thing I'm gonna do in this room is just vacuum really quickly and you'll probably see over there on the side wall one of the signs fell off the wall and I just didn't put it up today. And we also have our old Roomba that we need to get rid of because it has been dead for a really long time and not working. And you guys also have a bunch of poster boards from doing a bunch of birthday parades because that's what those were for that I just stuck in that little area. So right when I finished cleaning the office, my friend Stephanie arrived with all the goodies in her trunk and so I helped her unload. We did the little decorating video for her channel and then I cleaned up the rest of the decor that we did not use. So here's a little sneak peek of what she did in her video and I just can't wait for you guys to see how it all turned out. I'm so obsessed with all of the decor. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is put up all of this decor and I have a ton of stuff that was still up from spring. I feel like I'm so late with decorating this year and I still have other rooms to get ready for summer and all of that, but that'll have to happen in a few weeks probably. But I'm putting all of this decor away for spring and then I also put some of my everyday decor in the same bucket and then I'll be done.
All right, y'all, so that is it for this cleaning video. I hope you got tons of cleaning motivation from it. And I just wanna say a quick thank you to everyone for all of your support over on Instagram. You guys have been so, so sweet. And here in the comments, you guys are always amazing. I love you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be getting tons of cleaning done and I hope that this gives you so much cleaning motivation to get some things done around your house, whether you are cleaning along with me or making your to-do list while you're watching and then you're gonna clean afterwards. Today I am starting with a load of laundry because Kaysen's laundry was overflowing in his room so I just wanted to go ahead and get that started. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all of the packages that we have at our front door right now. We have this huge rug that is for the back porch and I'm not gonna open it right now because we're doing a whole back porch makeover. If you missed it, I did a video a few weeks ago where I cleaned the back porch and I also cleaned the front porch but I talked about the whole makeover in that video and our plans for it. So hopefully we will have all of that done soon so you guys get to see that whole transition and how everything turns out. But now I'm just moving on to tidying up the living room and I'm having the kids help me because there were Nerf bullets everywhere and then Gracie June had all of her teeny tiny little toys everywhere. So they're just helping me pick up really quick. <laughs> now here is another package that I just got in a few days ago and it is the Bissell carpet cleaner and I think it's the pet pro I actually bought this off of Amazon because I had these huge stains on my rug that's in the front door Cooper had a little accident and I tried to get it up with some stain remover and it was just way too big of a spot so i decided i finally just bit the bullet and bought myself one of these um, carpet cleaners and i had seen other people using these so i figured it was a really good one the reviews were amazing but i planned on using this on this day of cleaning and then once i got it all out i put it all together and everything and i had just run out of time because i had to go meet chance to pick up something and so I will be using this later on in this video because this video is like three days of cleaning and I'm gonna use them on my rugs, which have never ever been cleaned before. We've been in our house almost three years and I've never actually like shampooed them or anything, just vacuum them all the time. But I'm gonna clean them and then I'm also gonna clean our furniture. So our couch, our couches in the living room. So stay tuned till the end so you can see how it all turned out. Now I desperately needed to clean my kitchen and breakfast area this day so that's why I decided to hold off on the carpet cleaning because I was running out of time and I wanted to clean all of this mess up. We had some friends over, I was babysitting their kids for a few hours and the kids were playing with kinetic sand and coloring the little coloring table cloth that we got and so they were just having a good old time and I wanted to get everything cleaned up. And then of course we had the mess in the kitchen too. And we had gotten a few gifts for the teachers from Target and I picked up a few other things. So those were still out on the counter and needed to be put away as well. Now really quickly, I wanted to tell you guys, if you didn't know, I have a second channel and it's called Team Darley and it's where we share more lifestyle related content. And this summer I'm doing themed activities or themed weeks during the summer. And I just shared a video all about what we're gonna be doing all summer long, all the themes that we're gonna be doing and kind of how I've organized it in our summer schedule. 
but each week I'm actually going to be sharing some of those themes with you and all the activities that we're doing, printables, resources, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in seeing ways that you can keep your kids busy this summer, then make sure to go follow over there. I will leave a link to my second channel down below in case you're interested. And then of course, if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Amy Darley and I am a mom of two kiddos. My husband is Chance and we have a dog named Cooper and we live in the Savannah, Georgia area. And if you're just stumbling across my channel, then I'm so glad that you're here. On this channel, I do lots of home related content. So I do, I do cleaning, home decor, um, organizing, all kinds of stuff, which I have tons of organizing videos coming up. So I'm super excited about that. And if you are new, then welcome. I want you guys to click that subscribe button if you like what you're seeing here or if you like this type of video. And you will definitely get more of those. And then also, if you click the bell button next to the subscribe button, it'll actually notify you whenever I post new videos so you don't miss any of those. But if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. You guys know I love chatting with y'all down in the comments. So. Definitely say hey and let me know what you guys are doing while you're watching today. Now I'm going to clean my stove really quickly because it is definitely a mess from probably honestly it's from dinner the night before and then breakfast this morning but I just pull any of the crumbs that I see on top I pull those off first and then I'm going to spray it down I feel like any kind of degreaser will work so sometimes I use the method degreaser sometimes I use my jaws kitchen cleaner um, but today I just use the method degreaser and then I take a wet sponge and scrub and then I feel like it just loosens up all of the stuff that's caked onto your stovetop a lot easier and then I will take a dry cloth and just wipe it all up. Now for the rest of the kitchen, I'm just going to use this Jaws cleaner and it's the kitchen cleaner and you can use it on basically any of your surfaces. I did not need to clean my stainless steel today, but this is what I usually use when I'm wiping down my entire kitchen and going around. I will just take this and wipe down every single surface with this cleaner. It's so good. I have all the Jaws cleaners and they are amazing and I actually have a coupon code if you're interested in those down in the description box. And now we're moving on to day two of cleaning and here in my bedroom I'm just going to make up the bed really quick and just tidy up. I'm not doing a whole deep cleaning in here or anything today. 
I'm basically just giving you some motivation to make your beds today. And I always get questions about the little tool that I use here on my bed. And it's just, it's almost like a lint roller, but it's so much easier because you don't have to pull anything off. And it's called a Hurricane Fur Wizard or Pet Wizard or something like that. It's on Amazon is where I got it from a few years ago. And I love it. And it just gets the dog hair off of my bed super easy. So if you are looking for a tool like that to get any dog hair or cat hair or lint or anything off of your comforters or upholstery or anything like that then definitely look into getting one of these I'll have a link for it below And now we're going to move into the bathroom. I was trying to get the entire downstairs cleaned in this video. So that's what we're going to do next is clean the bathrooms. So I got these two pair of sunglasses. I shared these on Instagram the other day. But I got these off of Amazon, a two pack for like 19 bucks. And they are so cute. Here, I'll show you. These are my favorite. But I got a black pair and then this like tortoiseshell pair. They're so cute, they're polarized, and $19 for two. I don't like to spend a lot of money on sunglasses just because I tend to lose them or break them pretty easily. So these were perfect for that. Um, and I'll link them below because you guys wanna check them out. Now in the bathrooms, I have the same little bathroom cleaning routine and I feel like it takes me no time at all to clean the bathrooms because of the way that I do it. And I'm sure that other people do it this way, but I'm just going to share in case it saves you guys some time too. But what I will do is go ahead and spray down the sinks and the countertops with the cleaner that I'm using, which I use the Jaws disinfectant cleaner in my sinks. And then on my countertops, I use the Jaws granite cleaner. And then while that sits and starts disinfecting the sinks and everything, that's when I'll clean off my mirrors and I'm using the Jaws glass cleaner for that. But I feel like when you have a routine and you do it over and over again, then you can almost get through things a lot quicker because you don't have to really do a lot of thinking when you're going through the whole process. Now, sometimes when I'm filming though, I feel like I start thinking about cameras and where I need to move it next. And so that definitely slows me down a little bit, but having a specific routine helps me out the majority of the time. slide. Okay, I know this has nothing to do with cleaning, but I am just curious if you have little girls or if you have had a daughter when your daughter at what age did they start taking showers and being able to wash their hair by themselves because gracie june she is six years old she's almost seven and she still takes a bath and i still wash her hair every single night i feel like she can wash herself easily but washing her hair is such a task and she has really really thick hair too so that's why i make her take a bath is because it's just easier for me than putting her in the shower and washing her hair and so i'm just curious at to know what age they started washing their hair by themselves and taking showers by themselves. Um, kaysen has been doing it for a while, but obviously he's a boy, so it's a little bit different. It doesn't take hardly any shampoo to wash their hair, and it's a lot easier. So if you have any advice or anything for me, then let me know in the comments below. Also, I wanted to say that these are one of my must-have cleaning products, these Clorox toilet bowl wands, and I don't know how I ever clean my toilet without them now that I have them. And I actually have one for every bathroom in my house, and they're just so easy. It takes no time to clean the toilets because of them. They smell so good, and you just toss them when you're done. And you can actually get, um, you can get them on Amazon, Walmart, Target, wherever and then get a ton of refills for them and they last me usually i think i go through them i think i end up getting them i'll buy a huge pack maybe once every couple of months so 
they're definitely worth it and it makes cleaning a lot faster and a lot easier especially if you don't like to clean toilets And we are now on day three of cleaning because you guys know me, I can never get it all done in one day. It takes me all week to clean my whole house. So that's why I, for some reason, every single cleaning video, you're going to see me basically doing this over a bazillion different days. But it's okay. We're getting it done. And I know you guys probably feel the same way, or at least most of you do. Cleaning your entire house in one day is just really, really hard to do. So that's why I break it up so much. But now on this day we're going to be focusing on the floors for downstairs and also i'm going to be cleaning my couches using that carpet cleaner and the rugs so here i'm just going to go ahead and vacuum and then i'm going to mop the floor right here i haven't mopped underneath these rugs in a really long time so i wanted to do that before i start cleaning the rugs Now for my floors, I use Pine Sol Multi-Surface Cleaner. I just love the smell of it. I put just a tiny little bit in my mop bucket and then fill up my mop bucket with hot water. And I'm using the Oceder Spin Mop, which I'm sure majority of you guys have this mop because you all tell me all the time how amazing your mop is. And I totally agree. This is the best mop I've ever had. All you do is put your mop into the bucket get it wet and then you spin it so you can wring out a bunch of water and I love this because especially if you have hardwood floors it doesn't leave your floors sopping wet so if you're in the market for a mop that's not expensive this mop was under 30 bucks um, then definitely look into this one I'll have it linked below too and y'all let me know if you have this mop too I'm always interested to see what you guys are using or if you have any other products that you recommend that you're loving when it comes to cleaning too. All right, now I'm gonna just finish vacuuming and mopping the rest of the downstairs before I start cleaning my rugs and my couches.
Now usually what I like to do is after I'm done mopping the hardwood floors, I'll go in and clean the bathroom floors as well. That's always last though. I don't like to clean the bathroom floors and then go and clean the wood floors even though I do have separate mop heads so I could totally do that. Um, I actually have four different mop heads and you can just throw the mop heads into the washing machine when you're done to wash. All right, so we are about to start on this rug. I say we, I mean I. I'm gonna use my new Bissell carpet cleaner. And as you can see, there are some spots that look pretty bad, but honestly, you should have seen this before. Um, so I use this stain and odor eliminator and I feel like it's so good. It works really, really good, but I feel like it's so much better for spot cleaning because I tried to spray my entire rug with it and you can kind of see it was really hard because I had done the entire rug and um, this is definitely not made for doing an entire rug at one time, but it does work really good on spot cleaning. So now I'm gonna go back over it again and actually use the carpet cleaner. I realized I needed a carpet cleaner if I was gonna even attempt to get this rug clean because there's still a lot of stuff on it. So we're gonna try that and then this carpet over here, this rug over here has never been cleaned either. Um, we lived in our house for almost three years and I've never cleaned these rugs like shampooed them or anything. So I'm gonna clean this one as well. Hopefully it works. All right, so the first step is you just take this top compartment off and I'm gonna fill it to the fill line with just hot water. All right, so when I bought mine, it came with two different like sample sizes of these different cleaners. So this one is the Pet Stain and Odor Plus Antibacterial Formula. And then this is the Professional Pet Urine Eliminator Plus Oxy. So I'm really not sure which one I'm supposed to use on this kind of thing, but I figured I would go ahead and use the antibacterial formula just because. So I'm gonna try this one. Um, and then I also think, I think I purchased a full bottle of this one, but um, anyways, so it comes with this little cap too, so it's easy to measure. Um, so I'm just gonna put what I need in here, and then I'm just gonna dump it right in the same little top with the water. You like me too, we can take it slow, make sure we do this right. All right, and now I'm just gonna set this, oh, it goes this way, I guess. Set this right back in there. And it just kind of clicks in. Tonight, so just sit with me. Talking to the night into the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to see. All right, so there's three different modes. We have max deep and express clean so express is the fastest it's not going to be as deep max is obviously the most <laughs> so i think on this rug i'm going to do the max clean so i know it's going to take a little longer to dry but i really really want to try to get a deep 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 clean on this rug all right so i didn't know what i was doing at first and of course it took a few minutes and i read all the directions and figured out how to use it but i did want to put some tarps down underneath these two rugs just because i wasn't sure how much it was going to soak the rug and if it would mess up our hardwood floors and of course i didn't want to take any chances so i think it is smart to probably go ahead and put something underneath I didn't want to take my rugs outside either because I figured it might get they might get dirty from drying out there, but I definitely think this was easy. The tarp was huge and I just cut it in half and I'll just keep it and then that way whenever I want to clean my rugs in the future, I have it so I can put it down. All right, so I didn't really know what I was doing too much, but um, this is the dirty water after cleaning that rug. Look how dirty that is. Gross, and then this is clean water. So clean water, dirty water. 
Clean water? Dirty water. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to move on to this rug. So that's all the dirty water. And it's about to go down the toilet. Yay, that was pretty easy. Okay, so I just got a few like clumps of dog hair that were piled up, but it didn't hurt anything. But now, since that was so easy, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean my couches. I've never done this before either, so I'm really excited. All right, so I'm obviously gonna take my pillows off, but I wanna show you guys a few spots. So we have that spot there. You can kind of see some discoloration here. Look at the armchair, or the armrest. That is super dirty, and it's because my kids run by and they'll like swing on both of these armrests. These are dirtier than the other sides, you'll see. So like, look at this one, and then, well, I guess that one's pretty bad, but it's not near as bad as the other. So yeah. I'm excited to see if I can get some of this stuff cleaned off. We've had these couches for three years too, but obviously with two kids and a dog, these aren't gonna hold up nice if you don't clean them. So let's see how these turn out. All right, so I decided I'm gonna try this one on the couches just because I used the other one and I actually just smelled it and it smells so good. This one is like a fresh, fresh, clean smell and then this is like a smell good smell, I guess probably because it has oxy in it and I don't know what smell good smell means but <laughs> I'm just saying like this is more of like a, I don't know, like a cozy home clean smell and this is more of a fresh clean smell, if that even makes any sense but I am just going to fill this up. It's two and a half ounces or whatever so I just fill it to the line and then I'm gonna dump it in all right so I just filled up the water thing and now I'm gonna pull out I put all of my little accessories and, and the hose in here so now I'm gonna attach this hose and then I gotta figure out which brush I'm supposed to use there's two different ones all right so this is the other one which looks super heavy duty. So I'm about to read the instructions really quick and figure out which one to use. But basically all you do is attach it here. Yep. And the red part is supposed to be facing out. And it just clips in. And then I have to figure out which attachment to use. But I'm gonna use that on the couches, yay! All right, just looked at the instructions and it looks like I need to use this one. So we're gonna connect this. I'm gonna take the couch cushions and blankets off and then we are gonna get to work. All right, so I figured out the difference. So this one is actually the pet tool. So it does a little bit of vacuuming beforehand, which is why I kept putting my hand in front of it. I was trying to make sure it was actually sucking it up. And then there's a little canister that you're gonna see in just a second, it pulls the hair in too. So you can use this one, I feel like more for spot cleaning. And then the other attachment is for cleaning your entire couch at one time. That's what the vacuum sucked up. All right, so really quick, I wanted to show y'all, I have all these little fuzzies right here on my couch. So I ordered this little thing off of Amazon. It is supposed to be like a couch shaver. So I'm gonna see if I can get all of these little fuzzies off before I start cleaning it. So this little area down here, that's all little fuzzies from shaving the couch. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. 
Okay, so if you have little fuzzies all over your couch, this tool is so worth it and it's really inexpensive too on Amazon. I've heard of people using those little razors, but I feel like that just takes forever. And this thing was so easy and you just push it down and it shaves the couch for you. Look at all the little fuzzies that I got. And then you just go dump it into the trash can and you're done. And it actually came with two extra razors. So I don't know. I just think it's totally worth it. Okay, and then here you can see I'm using that first attachment, but I realized really quickly that this is more for spot cleaning, and then I switched to the other attachment, and I feel like that did a really good job cleaning the couch. choice what I need to be free still thinking how real love should feel when I know that it's not about you just me all right the couches are officially done the rugs are drying the couches are drying and I am about to turn this fan on. I probably should bring a huge box fan, but we're actually about to leave in a little bit. So we will be gone all afternoon and these can finish drying. And I'll show you the final results soon. All right, now that everything has had a chance to dry, I wanted to show you guys the before and after shots of the rugs and also the couches. And I feel like that first rug, you can tell a huge difference. And I really wish I would have had b the before shot of before I even used the spot cleaner on it because it was so bad I thought I was gonna have to throw it away. I definitely think I could use a bigger rug here in the foyer, but for right now, this is perfect and I'm so glad I was able to get the stains out of that rug. Now the second rug, I feel like you couldn't really tell a huge difference of the before and after because they, it wasn't super dirty, but I definitely can tell a difference in person. And then the couch was a huge difference and I'm so glad that I got the carpet cleaner to clean it because I definitely saw a major difference and now that the whole couch has been cleaned, I can just kind of spot clean it here and there when I need to. The armrests were the major difference and then also getting all the little fuzzies off I felt was awesome that little gadget there from Amazon was definitely worth it all right you guys I hope you got tons of cleaning motivation from this video and if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're a returning subscriber let me know what you got done while watching or even if you were just relaxing let me know what you were doing while watching today and come say hey in the comments I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video Bye.
Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a complete disaster clean with me because we are starting in here in the playroom and as you can see you can barely even walk in this room. And then later on in the video I'm going to be getting to other areas of my house that need to be cleaned as well. Now every single time I show you guys this playroom I feel like it is a complete disaster and that's because Gracie June and her friends love to pull out every single toy that they are playing with instead of pulling out just a few things at a time they will pull everything out and this is what happens also they love to make forts and when their friends come over they get the nerf guns out they build forts they do all the things and then when the parents come to pick their kids up i just tell them not to worry about it i end up cleaning it with the kids or i'll make the kids come clean it by themselves but on this special occasion, I decided instead of just having the kids clean, I wanted to come up here because we've been wanting to declutter in here for a while and there's just so many toys that the kids actually don't even play with. So I wanted to go through and help them clean and help them um, pick out which things they wanted to donate and which things that we needed to just throw away. And I love this little thing that Kaysen has here. It just picks up the Nerf bullets, and so it's kind of like a little vacuum for Nerf bullets. It'll pick up other toys too. But we got it off of Amazon for Christmas, and so he got that with a few of his Nerf guns. All right, so I figured I would leave all of the real stuff in here. So you're gonna see, as we were cleaning, some of the times my kids were very, very helpful in cleaning up, and sometimes they just sat and played with Rubik's Cubes while I was asking them if they wanted to keep certain things or donate them. Now, I also know with my kids, they do not do well when I just say clean up. Like, if I'm in there with them and I say just clean up, then they don't really know where to start. So what I try to do is I give them specific tasks. So I told Kaysen to start with, I'm like, go around and I want you to find all the bullets and I want you to put all the Nerf bullets away. And then when he was done doing that, I told him to, okay, now I want you to go find all of your Nerf guns and I want you to go hang those up and put them where they belong. So giving them a specific task instead of just say, saying clean up usually helps with trying, them trying to figure out where to start. So hopefully that was a helpful little tip in case your kids struggle with knowing where to start with cleaning too. You can use that little tip to get them started. All right, now, before I finish the playroom, I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is a collaboration with my friend Lindsay, and her channel is Lindsay's Life and Style, and she does lots of videos that are very similar to mine, so if you're looking for more cleaning motivation, definitely go check out her channel. She's going to be doing a complete disaster clean with me today as well. And I know that you guys are going to love Lindsay because she is just so down to earth. All of her videos are super realistic. So you're going to get motivation for everyday life that you can actually relate to. Her family is just precious. She works out. She eats good. And I just feel like she is so motivational all the way around. So as soon as you get done watching my video, I want you to click on my description box below the video and there will be a link that will take you straight to her complete disaster video for today and go watch that. I want you to give her a thumbs up, subscribe to her channel and tell her that I sent you and just show her lots of love because she totally deserves it. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's School trooper reporting for duty. All right, what are you doing over here, Gracie June? Organizing my house. Look what I did so far. Oh, yeah. Lots of really nice rooms. You put a rug in there. Some toys, some animals, some seating for everyone. I love it. Still got a little work to do. All right, so we're not done yet, but this is the progress that we're making. And so we have trash, we have items to give away, and then Barbie stuff is in here. We have games that we keep up here. The rest of the board games and stuff we keep downstairs so they don't get drug out all over the place. These are like stuffed animals and Beanie Boos that Gracie June loves. These are all her doll items, like clothes for her American Girl doll, pretend makeup, 
other dolls, things like that. Building blocks and magnet tiles. And then this has a bunch of balls and then Harry Potter capes. So that is all we have. That's all we're organizing for right now. And we're gonna put them back into the little cubby holes. That cubby right there just has wee stuff in it, like wee um, accessories and all in it. And Kaysen has put these up. I'm about to go get the couch cover to put on here and see if that works out good. But I think we're gonna end up getting rid of Gracie June's little play kitchen because she doesn't really play with it anymore. This little thing, she plays with a dollhouse. I would like to get rid of this one and get her a different one because so many pieces are broken on it, but she plays with it and it's fine, so we're gonna deal with that. But we're probably gonna get rid of these two. And we also have this over here. This is the air hockey table that we're gonna probably get rid of. I found one of the Christmas pillows inside of the bean bag and I'd been looking for that during Christmas time. So you yeah, you found it, Kaysen found Maybe. it. And so I'm going to put that with the Christmas yes, stuff. And then that basket is all Chance's stuff that we need to put in the attic. Um, this basket goes downstairs. Chance's stuff that needs to go back in that bread basket. But we're making progress. I just wanted to kind of show you guys. You can actually walk in here now. I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free All right, and this is a little slip cover that I ended up getting off of Amazon. I figured it was much cheaper than buying a new couch, especially it would save us some time on trying to get this couch out of here because it is so stinking heavy. It's a sleeper sofa and it's leather, it's big. It doesn't fit very easily through the door and we would have to take it downstairs as well. So I just got a slip cover for it instead of getting a new couch. And I think this works up here for right now. Since I was a kid. I've always put my feet wherever I want to Before I saw who I could be Kept thinking where did I go wrong Then realizing where I do come from Was asking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free Hey, hey, so it is day two of cleaning. I ba We basically cleaned the playroom yesterday. I do still need to go up there and vacuum, but we ran out of time because we had baseball last night. And so now I'm gonna finish doing all this random cleaning on my checklist for today. All right, so this is what the playroom looks like right now. We have all of this stuff. We've got some trash and then we've got toys to get rid of. And my friend Jesse was telling me that with like the stuffed animals, you can donate them to the fire department and the police department. And when they come up on a wreck or something where there's a child, they'll give, which this little bunny is kind of freaky, but they'll give the kids a little stuffed animal. And I thought that was such a good idea. So we're gonna go through and pull out all the stuffed animals that we're gonna donate. And then the rest of it, we're gonna try to figure out another place, probably our church. Um, but now I'm just gonna vacuum in here really quick. I didn't plan on doing a deep clean, but I feel like I do need to vacuum in here. And then I wanted to show you guys what the couch looks like. It actually is not too bad. I feel like it looks way different on Amazon in the pictures that they have, but it definitely looks better than having a bunch of patches on leather furniture. So. We'll deal with this for right now. <laughs> All right, so now it is time for those vacuum lines that are so, so satisfying. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this is my Shark Apex Uplight. 
I love this vacuum and I feel like everybody that has this vacuum rants and raves over it. It just does such a good job picking up anything and everything, especially on carpet. And so if you are looking for a vacuum, I highly recommend this one. I also, last week I talked about the Musu vacuum. It's a cordless vacuum that I got. And I love that one too for everyday messes, but if you're looking for something for deep cleaning, I would get this one. So I usually use this once a week upstairs and once a week downstairs just to get a good deep clean. And then I use my Musu cordless vacuum for daily messes so I don't have to get the cord out and all of that. But if you want one vacuum, this is the one to get for sure because it's also very, very light. It has, you know, the cord which I feel like if you really want a good vacuum, it's going to have a cord with it. If you want the power, it's going to have to have a cord. So anyways, I have this link down in the description box in case you're looking for one. I'll also link my cordless vacuum and I'll link my robot vacuum, which we use at night a lot of times too. All right, now we're starting on a load of laundry because we always have laundry. And when I started this video, I originally planned on giving you guys some laundry folding motivation, but you're going to see what happens at the end of the video and why I did not make that happen this time. I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. Now we're moving on to cleaning bathrooms and I ended up getting both of the downstairs bathrooms cleaned today. So this is our master and then I get the other one cleaned that is our main bathroom where when people come over, that's where they go. And then I did not get the upstairs bathroom cleaned today, but I will get that tomorrow because I just had other things that I needed to get done. So here you're going to see me switch it up a little bit and I actually spray the disinfectant spray not only in the sink but also on the faucet and the handles because last week a subscriber left me a comment saying I should be using the disinfectant spray on the faucet too which made so much sense and I don't know why I wasn't doing that before but I just want to say thank you for all of you that give me cleaning tips because these mo these videos or are for I can't even talk today you guys these videos are for motivation and to get you motivated to get your house clean but I'm not saying I always do everything right and everything perfect but I do try to pass on cleaning tips as I learn them so if you guys have a cleaning tip I want you guys to leave me your best cleaning tip down in the comments below so other people can read them if you have any cleaning hacks or anything like that let us know in the comments and of course if it works for me I want to try doing some of those in some of my upcoming videos Now, speaking of cleaning tips, I need you guys to give me your suggestions on this. I usually use Clorox wipes to clean off my toilet, but in the past, I used the seventh generation disinfecting spray, and I'm pretty sure that it got caked on and caused the toilet bowl seat. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it looks like it stained it. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get the stains out of the toilet bowl seat. So not on the inside of the toilet bowl, but on the actual seat. So if you have any suggestions on how to do that, let me know in the comments. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time
Now I will say one of my biggest cleaning tips is to get the Clorox toilet bowl wand if you don't have one already. I actually have one in each of our bathrooms and it just makes it so easy because you take the little stick, you put the pod on the end and then you clean the inside of your toilet. It smells so good by the way. And then you just throw the little pod in the trash can when you're done. You don't flush it or anything, but you throw it in the trash can and you're done. It seriously makes cleaning your toilets so much easier. It's definitely a game changer for cleaning toilets. And I will also link those um, Clorox wands down in the description box. And I have a bunch of other things that I get asked about when it comes to cleaning in that description box as well. Now today I'm taking the bedding off of our bed. I'm gonna wash that and I have a separate set of sheets that's already washed that will actually get put on later in the evening but you didn't get to see that because of what happens at the end of the video. But also, uh, usually it's once a month, sometimes it ends up being once every other month. I like to go ahead and clean off our fan blades and I like to do this before I completely take our bedding off just in case any dust falls but I actually use a pillowcase so we have a couple of old pillowcases that we keep for this and I just take the pillowcase and put it over the fan blade and the dust comes right off but instead of falling off onto the bed or onto the floor it falls into the pillowcase and then when I take it into the kitchen I will just take the pillowcase turn it inside out in the trash can and let the dust fall off and then I can wash it and use it again the next time I need to clean the fan blades. I went by your house, what a big mistake. But for a while I thought that I wouldn't break. Ooh. I need something else to clear my head. Someone to tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop rolling the dice and just come. It's the chance of your life Okay, try to be brave You have so much to say Take control of your own life Right now, every mistake Makes you feel like a fake Take control of your own life Now we're heading into the breakfast area in the kitchen. We're gonna clean in here. It is later in the evening. It is pouring down rain outside. And it's we've already had breakfast and lunch. And so we have dishes in the sink. I have to put all the dishes away in the dishwasher before I can put those dishes up and clean all that. So we have a lot of cleaning to do in here today. I also need to go ahead and clean down our appliances because we did not do this yet this week. And so I wanted to get that done and wipe down all the counters and everything too. So we're gonna get this kitchen clean now.
I've seen it all But I've come so far But it just got me high till I broke down Does somebody, somebody, somebody know Of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone When you're naked and broken with nowhere to go Does somebody, somebody, somebody know Does somebody, somebody, somebody know Of a place where the green isn't covered by snow Every time that your eyes speak it's time to let go Does somebody, somebody, somebody know Okay, you guys have to let me know, are you a fan of spicy or not? Because I absolutely love spicy things and I love jalapenos. My friend Jessie has a little jalapeno garden in her backyard. So she gave me a ton of her jalapenos that she had. And I could eat spicy on just about everything and I never get heartburn. The only time I've ever had heartburn in my life was both times I was pregnant. So it's just totally weird to me that everybody gets heartburn and some people do and some people don't. But y'all will have to let me know. Do you love spicy foods or are you not a fan or do you like spicy foods but you can't do it very often because you get heartburn? So let me know. I would just love to hear it. I'm, I like random facts like that. <laughs> I think I've seen it all, but I've come so far. But it just got me high till I broke down. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone when you're naked and broken, nowhere to go? Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? Somebody, somebody, somebody knows Does somebody, somebody, somebody know Now here on my stove top, I'm going to be using the Method Degreaser and this just seems to be the best product to use on my stove top that I've found and I've used lots of different ones and I don't use a ton of Method products anymore actually because I use mostly all the Jaws cleaners but for some reason I just love this for my stove top and I'll spray it down and then just use a wet sponge because it gets the caked on spots really really well that way and then I will go back over it with a dry cloth to wipe everything up. Got me saying, hey, girl, will you marry me? Two kids in a house and live happily. I think we are so meant to be. But she says, wait, you forgot something. Every good thing comes to an end. At least it always happened to me. I'm telling you this now. You don't need to worry because I got this. Now here you're going to see I needed to refill my Jaws kitchen cleaner. This is probably the Jaws cleaner that I use the most because I use it so, almost every single night. But this is the kitchen cleaner and I love it because I can quickly spray down all of my kitchen appliances, my countertops, everything with this one product and it does a really good job.
Okay, so really quick, I wanted to let you guys know that in my last video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see the garage organization first or the kitchen, and I feel like it was pretty even between the both. So it was pretty much tied between what you wanted to see. But we planned on doing the garage organization because everything had come in for that, but then it rained a ton this past week, and Chance has to be here with me when we do it because I need his help. And so we didn't get to get that done, and then we're still waiting on a few items that we ordered for the kitchen. So we're praying that the rain will hold off when Chance is at home this week, and we can get that garage done. So hopefully next week, we'll have a garage organization video for you guys. If not, it will be coming soon, I promise. <laughs> And then hopefully our orders that we place for some of the kitchen organization products will be in so that we can get that one done as well. Now the last thing that I'm going to clean here in the kitchen is my sink and honestly I think that that's probably the most satisfying part of the kitchen to clean for me. Y'all let me know if you feel the same way down in the comments. Okay, now that the rest of the house is pretty clean, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the downstairs and then mop the floors. Now, like I said earlier, I usually use the shark for once a week cleaning downstairs, upstairs, and so that's what I'm doing here. You can see in the corner of my dining room, I still have my little Musu cordless vacuum sitting up against the wall. It's charging right there. It's not like hanging on the wall or anything. It's just leaning there because when we get in the garage and clean that out, I'm gonna actually hang that on the wall in our garage. So we're just waiting till we can get in there to have a place for our vacuum to have a home. Now I'm going to start mopping and I'm just using my O-Cedar Spin Mop and a little bit of Pine Saw to mop the floors. Show me 
So as I was mopping the floors, my dog Cooper, he's the chocolate lab that you probably see following me around in tons of my videos. He can't see very well and he also can't hear very well. And while I was mopping, he actually ran into my tripod and knocked over my tripod and my camera hit the ground, lens down, and it broke. So I did not get to finish filming the end of this cleaning video. I was planning on giving you guys some clothes folding motivation as well, but that didn't make it in here. I was planning on putting my sheets on the bed so you could see the bed being made and all of that kind of stuff, but that didn't happen. So forgive me for cutting this video short, but I hope it was so motivating and I hope you got tons done while you were watching. Maybe you were folding clothes or um, cleaning along with me. Whatever you were doing, I would love to know down in the comments. That always interests me to see what you guys are up to while you're watching. And don't forget to go check out my friend Lindsay's video. I will have that link down in the description box. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Also, don't forget to ch check out my other channel. It's Team Darley. We share vlogs and lifestyle related content over there and we would love to have you in both places. So have a blessed week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Well, Cooper knocked my camera over and now it won't turn on. There's a lens error. And I have this backup camera, but the battery's dead and I can't find the charger. So, kitchen is clean. We're about to make some sandwiches for our baseball tournament tomorrow and getting some snacks together. That's why there's things right there. But the house is clean. So, I'm gonna have to end the video here. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an amazing week so far. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me and I'm hoping that it will give you tons and tons of cleaning motivation so that you will want to get up and get some things checked off of your to-do list. So the first thing that I'm starting on with my to-do list is getting Gracie June's bedding washed and I have a lot of other laundry to do today too. So we'd already washed one load and one's in the dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and then get started on Gracie June's um, bedding. Now, I always love hearing what you guys are up to while you're watching. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you're doing while you're watching this video, whether you are cleaning along with me or you're just relaxing on the couch. I wanna know. And I also wanna know what's on your to-do list today. And then when you complete your to-do list, I want you to come back and let me know that you finished it so that way I can give you a high five and tell you good job. Now, last night I noticed that Gracie June had a little blood spot on her bedding. I think she had picked a scab on her arm or something. She had been bleeding and so it was just a little spot and so I wanted to hurry up and go ahead and get it clean. So I'm just gonna use cold water first and then I used some hydrogen peroxide and a scrub sponge and just kind of scrubbed it. And then after that, I did this several times. So I added hydrogen peroxide like over and over and over again and kept scrubbing. And then I used some OxyClean to scrub it a little bit more and I also used a little bristle brush and then I just washed it with regular Gain laundry detergent and it came right out, it worked so good. Now if you're new to my channel then welcome, I am so glad that you're here. On my channel I do lots of cleaning motivation and I try to share lots of cleaning tips and hacks and things that work for me but we also have the best community here. A lot of my subscribers will share their cleaning tips and tricks down in the comments with me, and so I learned so much from you guys. So hopefully you'll join the community here and click that subscribe button before you leave. Also, I wanted to let y'all know I'm gonna have a lot of updates at the end of this video on some upcoming videos. So the next thing I'm doing is just cleaning up my mess from this morning. So I, where I'd worked out, I've been working out right here in the entryway. So I keep all of my workout gear right there in the closet, right below our stairs. 
Now this load of laundry is actually already folded. Yay, that's one less load that I have to fold. So I just took that upstairs and then I have a few new clothes that I got for the kids from Target that they had picked out and then an outfit for us to wear or for them to wear for family pictures. So I'm gonna take those back upstairs as well. Now the last thing I'm doing here is just making my bed and I'm gonna use my Hurricane Fur Wizard tool to get the dog hair off my bed because with a chocolate lab, of course, there's dog hair everywhere. And so I always get questions about how I have a white comforter with a chocolate lab. And that's how I use it almost every other day just to keep the dog hair off. But as soon as I got done making my bed, I actually had a Kroger click list order that was delivered to the house. So I'm gonna share with you guys that little grocery haul too. right now <laughs> but these are the Uncrustables that Gracie June loves I'm pretty sure I asked for two packs of this but and I asked for a different type of bag but we needed some gallon Ziploc bags these pizzas these are the cauliflower pizzas and they're so good I've been eating these on Fridays when they have pizza and then I will actually take some turkey pepperonis and put them on top when I cook this then I got a couple of limes for, um, we're gonna make shrimp tacos this weekend on Saturday, and I needed limes for that. Some sweet potatoes, purple onion. Um, I got these little protein packs. So this one has, well it's not focusing. This one has dark chocolate nut clusters, turkey and cheddar. And then I got some with ham, almonds, and cheddar. Um, this sausage has been recommended to me. It's the Adele's chicken and apple sausage. It looks so good. So we're gonna have that for dinner tonight with some veggies. Got some sriracha. And then I got this Primal Kitchen mayo. This is made out of avocado oil. It's so good. And then this is the Primal Kitchen ranch dressing. This slaw is also for tacos this weekend. And then I got some carb balanced tortillas, some strawberries, a bunch of already pre-sliced apples. And then I got this dark chocolate dessert hummus. So when I'm wanting something sweet, I can dip my strawberries or apples in that. Some red potatoes. We were almost out of garlic powder, so I got that. Some sweet relish avocados, Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. Um, this is the peanut butter that I use, the Skippy with seven grams of protein. And then these little nut butter packs from RX are so good. Um, this one's probably my favorite, the chocolate peanut butter. So I got these for low carb days. Now, in case you're wondering, I've been doing the Faster Way to Fat Loss program and it's unlike any program that I've ever done before. And I wanted to try it because a friend of mine had done it and had really, really good results. And so I decided I would go ahead and try it. It's a six week program. I am on week three by the time you're watching this video. And so far I'm loving it, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more of an update on all of that kind of stuff over on my Team Darley channel in case you're interested in checking it out. 
but it's not, I'm not doing it. Somebody said, well, you don't need to lose weight, but I'm not necessarily doing it to lose weight. I'm doing it to get more fit and to have more energy and to tone up and everything. So I'll explain more over on my Team Darley channel though. Now here we're starting another load of laundry and Chance was actually showing Kaysen how to do it because he had lots of questions about laundry. So we're getting another load done and our laundry room is a complete disaster. So I'm gonna come back in here a little bit later and clean all this mess up too. So I had a lot more cleaning to get done, but I wanted to go ahead and do these KiwiCo boxes with the kids because they had been begging to do them. And plus, Kaysen was leaving in about an hour to go to pitching lessons. So I wanted to go ahead and do his little box with him first. And then after we got done with Kaysen's, I did Gracie June's box with her. Kaysen is actually putting together a pinball machine from his box. And then Gracie June's is called a rainbow optics box. And so we're gonna put hers together when Kaysen leaves to go to baseball. Got the dice, give it a roll. You never really know which way to go. Feel it inside, feel the spark. Lift you up when you're falling apart. We think we know it all. We stand ten feet small with our head under, head under ground. I think I've seen it all, but I've come so far. But it just got me high till it broke. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone when you're naked and broken, nowhere to go? Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? Does somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where the green isn't covered by snow? Every time that your eyes speak, it's time to let go. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? Now Gracie June and I are gonna put together her little box. Hers actually came with three different activities. So we decided we were going to do the lantern today and then we're gonna do the other two on other days throughout the summer. Now, if you're looking for other things to do this summer, I did talk about the themed activities that we're gonna be doing this summer on my Team Darley channel, and we did our first week of summer activities. I'm gonna share probably a lot of the activities over on Team Darley throughout the summer, so that way, if you need ideas, you can go to those videos, and then I'll also have blog posts to go with them to show you the activities that we did, all of the websites where you can find the resources, and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys if you're just looking for some fun things to do with your kids because the majority of the stuff is going to be at home. So there will be books that we're gonna be doing. And for those books, I'm actually trying to find some that are available on YouTube that have read aloud. So that way you don't have to actually purchase anything or even go to the library. Now, some of them are definitely gonna be books that we already have on hand and we're gonna be reading those but I'm just trying to pack our summer with fun learning activities at home and just things that will keep my kids off of their screens as much as possible. And now we are done with our first little project and Gracie June created a little lantern and she decided to use the 
um, ocean animal stickers. It came with some space stickers too, but this is the one that she created. And then after we were done, I went ahead and cleaned up the box and put it away so that way we could do the other activities on a different day. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop so now i'm back in the laundry room and i'm going to finally clean up this mess in here i had some laundry to put away and then just other things to put back where they belong but our laundry room is located right beside our back door that we come in through the garage so I feel like we're always just throwing things in here as we walk in and also on their kitchen counter. So those are two spots that I am constantly having to clean up and just put the things back where they belong. So y'all let me know, does your laundry room stay clean or is it usually a catch-all spot too? Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground so now I've moved back upstairs and I'm gonna clean Gracie June and Kaysen's rooms. I needed to dust and vacuum in here. And then I'm also gonna be cleaning their bathroom because it desperately needed it when I cleaned the bathrooms earlier in the week. I did not do the bathroom upstairs yet. Also, we have our playroom upstairs, which me and the kids a few days ago went through and we cleaned out the entire playroom. We decluttered, we organized, we threw things away that needed to be thrown in the trash. And that's all in last week's video. So if you didn't see that video, I'll have a link to that one down in the description box because our playroom was a complete disaster in that video. You could barely even walk in there. So we got all of that cleaned up though a few days ago and I actually vacuumed in there already. So all I have to do in there is just do a little bit of dusting. Even if the sky is falling down Now we're in Kaysen's room and I'm giving you a little overview before I start in here because you can see that he is definitely a lot neater than Gracie June but he also doesn't play with as many toys as she does and he's already made his bed for the morning so I'm just going to do a quick dust in here and then I'll be done. Now, like I said earlier, we'd already cleaned the playroom, so I'm just gonna dust in here really quickly, and then I am done in this room, and then I'm gonna vacuum the upstairs. for you. 
Also in last week's video, I showed you guys that I put this slip cover on my couch and I didn't realize that the little foam pieces were for you to stick down in there. They were super hard to get in, but a lot of you told me to get the pool noodles from the Dollar Tree or even PVC pipe to put down in there to keep it like tight and look a lot better. So I'm gonna try to do that, but that picture I just showed you was just with the little foam pieces that came with the slip cover. Now I'm in Gracie June's room and I'm gonna just put her um, bedding back on her bed and I always get questions about the kids bedding and it is from Betty's and I do have a coupon code for 20% off in the description box because they are amazing they are a little bit pricier but they're so worth it it makes it super easy for the kids to make their beds in the morning they literally make their beds in like a minute and never complain about it because it's just that easy they also have tons of different designs on their website and i know so many of my friends have the Betty's bedding and they love them too so if you're interested then i always keep that link in the description box just because i love them so much and i don't want you to spend full price i want you to get that 20 percent off if you decide to get them I went by your house, what a big mistake But for a while I thought that I wouldn't break I need something else to clear my head Someone to tell me how to live instead Just open your eyes and take my advice Stop now the last thing that I'm going to do in the kids rooms is just vacuum really quick in both rooms and in the hallway upstairs and then I'm going to head into their bathroom and clean in there. Now this is the kids bathroom and it's also upstairs it's between them we kind of wish that we would have had separate bathrooms for them but for right now it's actually fine because Kason's the only one that takes a shower in here Gracie June still takes a bath down in our bedroom or in our bathroom but I can't wait to see what happens when they get older and they start arguing about the bathroom but it is a mess right now I'm actually taking their toothpaste holder and I'm gonna put that in the dishwasher when I go downstairs and now I'm just gonna clean with all the normal products, all my Jaws products that I usually use in the bathroom. I have the disinfecting spray for the inside of the sink and the faucet. And then I'm using the glass cleaner on our mirror and then the um, Jaws granite cleaner on top of our granite countertops. Now here I'm gonna go ahead and clean out our shower, the kids shower, and I don't usually do this very often on camera because there are literally no good angles for filming this and I feel like you can't really see a bunch, but I'm using the Kaboom cleaner just because that's what I already had up here and I didn't wanna go back downstairs and get anything else. Plus I do feel like even though it is very strong smelling, I feel like it does a really, really good job at cleaning the bathtubs. Keep thinking how we love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free I am made to be free
Now the last thing to clean here is just the toilet and I'm using the Clorox wipes and then the Clorox toilet bowl wand which is my favorite product ever invented for cleaning toilets and I always talk about them because I love them so much and I just feel like it makes it so much more manageable to have to clean the toilet. I've always put my feet wherever I want to Before I saw who I could be Kept thinking where did I go wrong Then realizing where I do come from Was asking how we love should feel Now the bathroom's all fresh and clean and I actually took the bath mat downstairs and I'm gonna actually wash that before I put it back up here too. All right, and now we're moving on to the kitchen, and if you watch any of my videos, then you know this is where it becomes a disaster zone pretty quickly in my house. It's our th like catch-all spot. When we walk in the house, everybody just throws their things on the counter and throws their shoes beside the counter. So um, we don't have any shoes today, but we do have a bit of a mess to clean up. It's not too, too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. I'm unloading dishes because they are clean, and then I'm gonna load the dishwasher and wash any dishes that need to be washed by hand. What I need to be free Still thinking how we love should feel When I know that it's not about you, just me So now I'm just going to wipe my countertops down and I'm just using an e-cloth and hot water today and that's usually what I do on a normal everyday basis for cleaning but when I want to do a deep clean I will actually spray it down with the kitchen cleaner from Jaws. Now I'm heading back into the laundry room because I've already done several more loads of laundry. I actually washed our mop heads and I need to disinfect our washing machine. So I'm gonna use these Afresh washing machine cleaning pods. I guess they're called tablets. And all you have to do is just throw one of these tablets into the washing machine. And I actually have a self-clean washing cycle on my particular washing machine. But if you don't, you can run it on a normal cycle with the hottest water possible. And it will clean the inside of your washing machine for you. Now that all the cleaning is done, I'm throwing in dinner and I wanted to show this to you guys because I always get questions about what we're eating, but this is so simple. It's just a sheet pan dinner. I have the oven set on 475 and I've got Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, and chicken. I meant to add some red potatoes on there, but I completely forgot. You could also add some onion, whatever veggies that you want. And I just cooked it for about 20 minutes and they came out so, so good. We ended up putting some Cholula on ours, but you could also put some balsamic vinegar, um, whatever sauces you wanna put on, and it turns out really good. 
Now the last thing on my to-do list for today is to fold this laundry. I actually have like three loads of laundry right here and the kids have already been bathed and they're ready for bed, but I just let them watch a little bit of TV while I folded the laundry because I just had to get the rest of my list checked off and plus I didn't wanna have to fold this laundry and let even more pile up on me the next day. Now, if you guys are still here at the end of my video, I just wanna say thank you. I love you guys so much. Y'all are so amazing. And I want you to leave me a sunshine emoji in the comments if you are still here. So that way I know that you made it to the end of the video. Also, if you wanna let me know what you got done or if you wanna come back and let me know what you get done today that was on your to-do list, I would love to see what all you accomplished. I also wanted to give you guys a little update on upcoming videos. So we have already filmed our garage clean with me and we decluttered the mess out of that garage and cleaned and organized and it looks so much better. It was a huge transformation. So that is gonna be coming next week. And this week I am gonna be trying to film the kitchen organization video. I think that I have everything. Um, but if not, I'm going to be ordering anything else that I'm going to end up needing from Amazon. So that should be the next week. So hopefully you guys are excited about those and it will give you guys some ideas on how to organize those particular spaces on a budget. And as always, I would love to hear any video requests that you guys have for either this channel or also on Team Darley. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that way you don't miss out on those upcoming videos. It'll just notify you when I post new videos. It's totally free to subscribe. And say hey in the comments too and let me know that you're here. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have an amazing week. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a massive garage clean, organize and declutter. I am so excited to finally have this video filmed and done. It is seriously the best feeling to have this project finally completed and to be able to share it with you guys. If you're new here, then welcome. I hope you get so much cleaning motivation from this video and hopefully some new ideas on how to organize, clean and declutter your garage. Sponsored by David. Spicy queso sunflower. Not really. Okay, are you ready to clean out this garage? Yeah. Oh. We chose the best day to do it because it is so nice outside. Are you sure it's freezing? Let's play a quick And it's summer. Is that baseball. crazy? Let's play a quick game yes. baseball. It's freezing, he says, and it's wet. What's the weather? How? 66 degrees. 66 degrees, <gasps> which is crazy. Up, oh, she's still in her jammies. Okay. All right, we're about to clean this garage out. Don't. Don't. Chance, you're gonna dent your truck. Don't. You're gonna hit the but glass window. But you can't window. throw it, Bobby. Yeah, but I can't. Stay fast. Oh, hit your batter. All right, so step one, we are going to clear out the entire garage first. All right, so just to give you guys a little bit of a background, we have lived in our house for almost three years and at the end of July, it will be three years. And we have never really cleaned our garage out. We've pulled things out and blown it out and all of that, but we've never taken everything out. And I just feel like so much stuff has accumulated in here and a lot of things that we don't need. So we wanna just clear out the entire space first and give it a good clean. And then we're going to go through and declutter as we are putting things back into our garage. 
Now we also ended up purchasing a few things from Home Depot. I finally just bit the bullet and got these little items off of, well, I say little, big items off of Home Depot and I told Chance exactly where we were gonna put them and what we were gonna do with them and he just rolled with it and he was such a good help with figuring out where exactly we should put things and how to organize everything. So I'm so grateful for that and I love the items that we got to organize with from Home Depot. So I'm gonna share those with you in just a little bit too. Now this piece here that's on top of Chance's workbench was actually from Kason's desk in his bedroom and when we put the desk up there we decided to just take this down and Chance just used it here because we just figured he could put a bunch of stuff on it but it doesn't look good and before that was up you're going to see there are some pieces of plywood that are up against the wall. So I would definitely like to end up getting some sort of pegboard or something for chance on this space. I tried to order some stuff off of um, Home Depot, but they were out of stock. So I'm gonna have to go back and do that later. So that's not in this video, but eventually we are gonna try to get something to put there for Chance's tools and things like that. Hey, bro, don't you look at that. I said, my friend, what you looking at? She is something for me Excuse me, miss It's my first time here Maybe you could show me out of here I think she got something in me So please forgive my Rudeness if I'm tripping over your time But you look so amazing And we So at this point we have pretty much everything cleared out of the garage except for that piece that we're going to take out from Chance's workbench and this is all of the stuff just piled up on the outside of our garage for right now. And while he is actually putting this together, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shop vac to vacuum out the window and then I'm gonna end up cleaning up all the windows as well. Time, but you look so amazing. And we
So last summer, our flag that we usually have hanging on the outside of our house ended up getting ripped in a storm. So we're going to go ahead, Chance wanted to retire the flag here, and we're just going to keep it here in our garage. Um, he wanted to put it over here by his workbench and everything. So that's what we're doing here, and now we need to get a new flag to put on the outside of our house. All right, and now that the garage is pretty much clean, we're gonna start putting things back in, but we're wanting to put the furniture in first just to make sure we have things exactly where we want them and we can kind of organize and declutter as we go. Now we're putting together the stackable bins that I ended up getting from Home Depot as well. And I love these things for organizing the kids' balls and sports equipment and all of that stuff. And I decided to put it beside the door, like going out the garage, because it was super close for them to be able to put all of their things back in. And they don't have to go all the way into the garage to do that because before they would just leave things outside or things would just get thrown all over the garage so i figured this was a great way for us to keep it organized but also make it easy for the kids to be able to help with that too Now you guys know if you've been on my channel for a while, but my Dyson pretty much burnt out a while back. And so we're just taking it off of the garage wall now and we're gonna actually rearrange some furniture. We have our deep freezer here. We're gonna end up putting our little mini fridge that used to be on the back porch. We're gonna put that here for the kids to have waters that they can actually come and grab waters or Gatorades and things like that when the kids in the neighborhood are playing outside because it is super hot here and we always wanna make sure that we have something for them to drink on hand. So it'll just be easier for them to come in the garage and get their drinks. And then we're also gonna put our shoe rack right here beside the door as well. Now, speaking of the back porch, we are still doing the makeover and hopefully it'll be done pretty soon. We had to order the furniture for the back porch and it took forever to come in. So we just got it in. So we're gonna put that stuff together and then hopefully we'll be in the home stretch of doing that porch makeover, but I can't wait to, for y'all to see it because it is a huge transformation. It's gonna look so good back there. So these shelving systems that I have here, Chance actually got probably a year or two ago. So these we already have, but they're also from Home Depot. So I'll see if I can find those and link them as well. And here on this wall, we actually chance put a huge piece of plywood and some hanging hooks onto that, um, into the studs on that wall. And so this is where we hang our cornhole boards. If you don't know what cornhole is, I'm not sure if they call it the same thing everywhere, but it's basically beanbag toss and it's pretty popular down here. So 
We hang our cornhole boards there and we used to hang our beach chairs there, but we found another spot which you'll see in just a few minutes. Now this big piece of furniture that you see Chance organizing in right now actually used to be in our office before we redid the office and it was used for all of my crafting stuff, all of my Etsy supplies and things like that. And then once I quit my Etsy shop, well, I didn't really quit it. I just quit doing anything with it for right now. But um, once I was basically not doing that anymore, we decided to redo the office and then we took this out here and Chance is using it for his tools and I actually still had a bunch of vinyl in the bottom of this from where I did my Etsy shop and made shirts and so what I'm doing is going through and getting rid of all the scraps and then I'm keeping the big sheets just in case I want to make any shirts for the kids or for myself or for anything later on down the road and I'm just going to keep it in this red tub that way it's all put together and Chance can use this entire storage cabinet for his stuff. Now in this chest of drawers that you see here, I have tons of shirts from my Etsy shop as well. I'm getting rid of all the ones that don't have our sizes and then we're keeping the rest. We actually did some tie-dye with some of those shirts. And then I also have some peeled and stick vinyl and I'm just keeping what I want and I'm gonna get rid of the rest, probably give it to a couple teachers or something. And then we actually gave away that chest of drawers for free, along with some other things in our garage we ended up giving away for free. We just had people come pick it up um, in the neighborhood. Now here you'll see we were trying to hang our beach chairs on these hooks. We actually got this little system from Home Depot a few years ago as well. And it's just the strip that has different hooks that you can put on it. And this hook was a little bit too low. So we took a different one that we already had and it's a higher hook. And we hung the beach chairs there and it worked out perfectly. Now also in this area, we decided to keep all of our beach stuff. So we have our beach bag, we have the little boogie board or whatever it's called. And then we have our beach bag with toys. And then we also have our pool bag right there. So everything's in one spot. We can kind of take things from each bag if we need to and put it in the other ones. And it's all organized. And just in case you're curious, the gray tub has Cooper's dog food in it. So it keeps the flies away. And it's also close to the door so we can easily go out and get his dog food and put it back in his bowl inside. And then the tubs on the bottom have different types of toys in them. One of them has Play-Doh, another one has kinetic sand, and then another one has a few toys that I don't want the kids pulling out all the time to play with, but they can reach down there and get from the tubs. But that's all that's organized right there. Now we are gonna start putting in all of our other big items like the lawnmowers, the pressure washer, the golf cart, all that kind of stuff. Where the sun won't go away. Wide awake with an open mind. Looking out from a mountain high. I don't know what to do now. Need to figure 
figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. After we had all this stuff back in the garage, we went and took a little lunch break, and then Chance came back out and actually put together the last piece that we bought from Home Depot, which was this hanging shelf. So it hangs from the ceiling, you find the studs in the ceiling, and Chance put it all together by himself. I didn't get the whole process on camera, but he said it wasn't too bad, and I was just so impressed with him being able to do all of this by himself. But we love the shelf. We can actually put even more things up there that we can just get off of the floor. All right, so this is the last thing that we ended up doing in here in the garage. And I'm gonna show you guys a little before so that way you can remember what the garage looked like at the beginning of the video. And then I'll show you the after so you can see what the entire space looks like all organized. So here's a quick look at the before when we could barely walk in here. We had things that we didn't even know we had and just a bunch of junk thrown everywhere. And here's a look at the final result of the garage organization. And we love it. Everything has a place. Everything has a home. We know where everything is now. We don't have a bunch of junk that we don't need. And it's not exactly perfect. I'm sure that we'll end up changing some things in the future, like the workbench area. We definitely want to upgrade that later on down the road as far as putting pegboard and things like that back there. And then for the shoe rack, I do eventually want to get some baskets to put the shoes in so they're not just thrown on top of the rack. But other than that, we have been super satisfied the way, with the way that everything turned out. And we are so glad to have this project done. So now that you've seen the whole process of us cleaning out our garage, hopefully it motivated you to get some things done around your house, even if it's not your garage. But I would love to know what is the status of your garage right now? Is it super messy? Does it need to be decluttered and organized or is it all put together? And do you guys have any other projects that you have on your to-do list right now? Let me know what those are. I know we have a to-do list about a mile long right now. Um, so hopefully we can start tackling even more projects. I have the kitchen organization that I'm trying to do next. So hopefully I can get all of that done and get that video finished and put up for you guys too. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, will you do me a huge favor and click that thumbs up button that's right below the screen. And then if you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell and then click all. So that way, anytime I post a new video, you get notified and you won't miss any of the future videos that I have coming up. And if you're looking for more than just cleaning, organization, home decor, all that kind of stuff, then I also have a channel called Team Darley where you can hang out with my family. You can see more of our regular everyday lives over there and favorites and things that I'm interested in and all that kind of stuff. So you can go check out that channel. It is Team Darley. I will have a link for that channel down in the description box. Now, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope you got so much motivation and get tons of stuff done. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You were meant to be with me. Talking to the night until the morning building can Mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say.